welcome back to another reaction video. This is another one that has come pretty highly requested. Um, now the funny thing about this is, uh, the first few times that I saw it mentioned, I didn't realize that everyone was talking about the Ginger song, Perennial. The first couple times, I thought people were referring to the band Spirit Box because they also have a song called, called Perennial that uh, came out, I think, in September of 2018. And the Ginger song came out in January of 19. So there's there's a few months of overlap there. But, you know, I, I, I initially thought that, you know, everybody was talking about Spirit Box because it's also... A, f a female fronted metal band so it you know it made sense to me all right so let me go ahead and be 110 percent clear right now uh, i know a lot of women are put off by the term or the phrase female fronted metal bands or you know female vocalist you know like it's not really necessary it's not like th there doesn't need to be that separation there uh you know in the in the metal genre uh, now typically the the metal genre is primarily dominated by males and has been for almost its entire existence you know both the fan base and the musicians themselves you know that's that's just a fact that is the demographic um but a lot of very strong amazing talented women have been coming to the forefront of the scene over the past few years and it has been a breath of fresh air for a lot of people seeing women really stepping out and having this tremendous impact on the metal community and you know staking their place and sometimes it's it's an oversight and it's it's just it's easy it's an easy descriptor for a lot of people because it's still it's still not cemented with a lot of people you know the whole separation of it you know eliminating that so with, with this for instance um when i say female front of metal band and you know acknowledging the separation of the two different perennial songs and how one would come to that distinction you know it's like if a couple people had commented and okay let's say thy art is murder had a song called perennial and you know a few people had left a comment and you know had just said you know please react to perennial I wouldn't necessarily make that distinction. I wouldn't think, oh, are they talking about Ginger or are they talking about Die Art is Murder? And that is basically because, you know, you're, you're dealing... Okay, if you're commenting on a Ginger video, chances are you love Tatiana. That's one of the things that drew you to ginger as you know as well as the band of course not discrediting them in any way but most people her presence resonates with people you know even people who normally didn't like metal before like metal primarily because of her so if someone comments the name of a song that also happens to be the name of a ginger song but there is another band you know with the name of that song that also has a strong woman as their front person it's you know there there's going to be that wait are they talking about this other band you know because people you get what i'm saying it's like if they're primarily there for a woman and then there is a song you know and the woman is the vocalist of the other band with the same song title you, you see where i'm going with this <laughs> yeah uh, i know most women like i said are put off by being you know referred to as you know uh this such and such female singer or you know the female that can really scream 
but um, you know it's just one of those things that takes people you know some time it's just one of those you know maybe maybe it'll change one day but you know people are going to acknowledge a woman if a woman is fronting a band is it is going to be acknowledged and it's the connotation it isn't necessarily negative most of the time it isn't it, it the intention behind it is is harmless and complimentary even but it's just not received that way because it feels to women as if they're being put up against males if that makes sense um but like I I know I personally if someone says favorite female vocalist uh, I say that because to me there there is a a substantial difference in not putting one over the other female or male but you know I would say my favorite male vocalists are Ishan and Maynard you know Ishan formerly of Emperor he's got his own solo thing he's been doing for years you know, he's also had that project with his wife, Picatum. Um, but yeah, so Ishan and Maynard from Tool and A Perfect Circle and Pusif or Pusif or however you pronounce it, those two are my favorite male vocalists. And I have three favorite female vocalists. Uh, one, of course, being Tatiana from Ginger. Um, of course, Lauren from Once Human. And, of course, Courtney from Spirit Box and I Wrestled a Bear Once. So those are, you know, that, that, that is what it is, you know, to me, there is a difference, you know, there are my favorite male vocalists and there are my favorite female vocalists. There are very few people outside of those, that group of people that catch my attention. And that is a separate group of people, if that makes sense, you know, not to say that those males are better than the females and not to say that the females are necessarily better than the males each one each one of each of those categories brings their own unique thing to the table which is why i i, I love those specific people um and <laughs> oddly enough uh both of them happen to be on orchard music and i know this because uh i that's who always copyright claims my videos so you know there's that now i've already seen the video for spirit box perennial i saw it back when it first came out because courtney laplante and uh her husband were formerly with the band you might be familiar with uh i wrestled a bear once one word i wrestled a bear once They were with that band for like seven or eight years. So this new project, um, Spirit Box, well, it's not even that new. It's like a couple years old now. But, you know, the sound doesn't vary. It doesn't stray too far from I Wrestled a Bear Once, except it's got less of those, like, sporadic deathcore, metalcore elements. It's uh, It's got a lot more musicality and... Um, melody to some of the songs though some of the songs still uh have that whole like deathcore kind of edge to them in the same vocal stylings that she had with i wrestled a bear once um but yeah so today is going to be a double feature uh, i'm going to react to ginger perennial and then we're going to kind of jump into spirit box perennial and break that down as well all right so let's go ahead and get into this there's that I'm going to try to do this arrow thing that you guys have been telling me about in the comments instead of using my mouse. Um, let's see if this works. 
Okay, so the window, <laughs> there's like, there's a face. It looks like there's a face in the window right there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. And I like the, I like this whole setting. It's very, uh, it reminds me of this museum, uh, near where I live. It's where the first, uh, settlers of North Carolina came, uh, the Hezekiah Alexander home site. Museum, but the houses there look like this, uh, especially like the inside. It's very reminiscent of that. I, I'm assuming this is supposed to be that that same time period. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I love right out the gate those those windmills. Like I love that she does windmills. And they're so good. Ah, all right, let's keep going. I'm sorry that that was so creepy, but <laughs> So, I know some people, you know, in the comments, we've been commenting about, you know, her socks, you know, and I learned about the whole tattoo thing, and, you know, she's always got these, like, you know, knee-high, you know, sporty socks on with the 666 on them, but even even here it looks like she's wearing those socks i mean i know it's silly and <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm pausing like crazy i know but those those shots like that just little shots like that where she like she drew back in into the darkness it's subtle little things like that, you know, that they get to, you don't realize why you enjoy something so much. There's like little moments that register subconsciously and it's those little things that impact you and make you really like something, even if you don't realize it on a conscious level, if that makes sense. You know, it's a combination. There's tons of little moments like that that happen throughout videos and live performances that most of the time you don't catch they're there and subconsciously you catch them but it doesn't register but you know you make the combination of those and it just it resonates with you uh, I, lo I love that onward we go Okay, that breath thing, I, I don't know if they're filming a freezer or like just the, the temperatures like way down or if that was something added in like Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects or something after the fact, but um, that was that was cool. That was cold, no pun, inten pun intended. Okay, the there there came the window again. The, the it's like they were, they brought the window back into play. Right there. Okay, with the pickaxe, it it was hitting with the snare pattern. 
every time she hit just the jump cuts and hitting with the snare that was brilliant okay and the the ice and the snow like jumping off the drums and cymbals great great touch like there is every little bit of attention to detail in this video like this is creative this is this is i don't really understand or follow what the story is trying to convey to me yet but maybe maybe you guys know i don't know if if you know tell me in the comments but uh yeah i'm liking this so far that stomp and then the jump cut into the symbol like the follow through from her foot to the symbol that it, this is what i'm talking about it's the little things right here i'm gonna back it up just a hair more so we can like get the full impact of that and then that shovel hits down on the next round Drops her knees on the downbeat. I don't understand the significance of like the hands kind of like the bass playing. God, there's strong hit the ice. Oh. Oh, that was that was another moment right there. It's like you got the, the dirty hands like in the dirt doing doing this. And then, you know, it just cuts straight to the clean hands and the, the lighter, softer colors. It's like this dramatic contrast, but it flows together. That was... This, this, is, this is so good. Okay, when these cleans came in right at the very beginning of the verse, I swear it, like normally, like within, within, with Pisces, you wouldn't know that she's Ukrainian. Like, you, you wouldn't know right off the bat, like, hey, uh, she's obviously from the Ukraine. You wouldn't know that. But this the intro to this verse i swear it's like you could kind of hear the accent a little bit i mean maybe i'm crazy but i i you could kind of pick up on it i think i i feel like i did That is a great shot with her turning the music. So good.
okay the the spinning and then the the alternating between like the digging the grave and the up view of the trees doing the 360 and then like the you know i don't know what i'm saying the shots of her like more of a up, upward shot and just uh, it feels like something is building like it kind of almost feels unsettling in a way like anxious like the anticipation of of something like that's what i feel i'm going through right now i feel like i'm anticipating something i don't understand this story but like i'm i'm <laughs> the video is making me nervous Okay, right there where she comes down with the dirt, with that note she's holding right there. It's like she she descends with it, and it, it goes right along with her hands. That was that was really cool. Fuck. That ending, like, what the hell? Like, she falls back, and then it's like hands falling into the darkness, and then the hand. I mean, it's so. It was so quick and simple, but like, so just overwhelming. So, as always, thus far, and to be expected, that was great. That was magnificent on so many levels. I really liked the way that was shot. Uh, everything about that video was very cool. I mean, granted, there wasn't enough focus on the rest of the band, really. Uh, mainly on Tatiana and, and, and Vlad. 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 That was the main focus i mean uh, aside from the bass with the hands coming through the dirt and playing and there wasn't really really much uh of, of roman or eugene in there aside from that at all i mean they're just quick little shots but no real emphasis or focus on anything but i mean that's okay the video is still great and i told it was telling a story i think I don't know I mean like I said if you know something I don't please please tell me in the comments I, I love learning more and more about this band and it's not gonna be long before I just dive into them without everyone and I will apologize for that but you know I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on as much as I can even though it's frustrating the hell out of me you know I'm I'm gonna try to do a couple more reactions i know there's plenty of you that have given me even more ginger material that i need to look up and i'm going to <laughs> i'm just i might take a quick break and then jump back into it because there have been plenty of other songs re requested as well artists and songs and performances that i'm not familiar with that um you know i'd like to be and i'd like to you know be able to react to things you suggest because i ask you to give suggestions so i'd like to follow through with those so you know i might take a break and do a couple of those and then come back and slam right back into some ginger but uh yeah all in all that was that was great and thanks to everyone who suggested that so now let's dive in to perennial by spirit box like I said, this uh, this song was released in September of 2018. Now, granted, I, I have seen this video before, but I haven't seen it since it came out. 
so it's been a minute and when it came out you know i didn't really watch it the way or dissect it the way i would be doing with a reaction because you know that that wasn't a thing for me then so you know it was more like oh courtney from my wrestle to bear once has a new band this is the song or you know this is a song from them i you know i just learned that they had this new band and i i guess they'd already had it for a year but um you know i i wanted to hear what was going on so i listened to that song and uh, it was more or less a, a listening experience for me than it was the the visual experience so you know i wasn't like really in tune with the video the way i, I should have been um but uh, their, their song, uh, Belcara, I have watched that video a few times. And I love that song just because of the, the, the visual, the aesthetic of it, um, the, the way the video is, is set up uh, with, you know, the body bags. And then they're standing there and then, you know, just her dress contrasting with the aggressive, just brooding nature of the song itself. Um yeah, it's really good. Um, th there's a breakdown in that song that absolutely gives me goosebumps every single time I, I hear it and watch it. Yeah, so this is going to be like, uh, it's almost going to be a reaction because like I, I don't really have a full memory of what the song sounds like or what the video is like. You know, I remember it being good. I remember I liked it, but I, as for the details, like I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. So uh, it's almost like going in fresh, I guess. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Okay, <laughs> so just starting out, before like any music or anything, just that that slow kind of moving up pan with them in like in the woods and it's dark. That ominous kind of feeling that was uh, good. I need to come up with more adjectives. I'm just always like, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's great. Sorry, that drum, that snare reverse swell right there before it came in and then just to, to come down. That was, uh, I, I love, I love little shit like that. Okay, so A, the light on the guitar is where it's kind of moving through the fog or, you know, whatever. The sunlight. I, that was that was cool. But these little shots, these close-up, like, of, like, just leaves and branches and stuff. It's like, it's like they just got a new, like, 4K camera. And they're, they're talking to each other. Like, hey, we should, uh. We should go out into the forest and get a whole bunch of good B-roll and then uh, just find places to put it in a music video. <laughs> it's just, it, that's what it looks like. If you took this music out and just had those shots over and over again and had like some kind of piano music behind it, it'd be like a free stock footage video.
okay that do, 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 on the guitar and then like she's slowly making that that turn with both her arms out at the same time the way those just kind of ran together shit like that Th those are the the subtle little things that make a video like on a subconscious level more impactful and you know it's things like that that often get missed or people it's not even that they get missed it's just that they're they're not comprehended it's like you take them both in simultaneously you know they're happening but you're not really thinking about it and you don't understand like why a certain part hits you the way it does when it it's like if you just really look at it um it's like I, I've, I've been doing this uh, a lot a lot more now, even even more now than I used to because I used to just not really care you know I, if I enjoyed a video I enjoyed a video I didn't think about why I enjoyed the video or what it was that was making me enjoy it um, but I just uh, you know I started breaking breaking stuff down you know uh, and that, that's just I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this or why I'm I'm, I'm ridiculous. Okay, so it's like there's these little artificial harmonics going on on the on the almost genty part. I, I don't really want to say genty because it's not necessarily genty. Um, but it, it was like there was this, these slide downs between the artificial harmonics. And it was like, like, oh God, it just sounded so cool. Okay, I really love that right there on on that descend that and then she just kind of like bent over with it at the same time and then straight into darkness and you know you've got the the dark lights kind of kind of going over them and you know you've got that red and the kind of kind of smoke feel going on that that was a nice transition and it kind of gave it some 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 depth and darkness god i'm terrible with like adjectives and trying to express myself today i do not know what is wrong with me i'm sorry jeez i, I really I'm, I'm so sorry that is gnarly These are great shots. Okay, so in that dress, she totally kind of reminds me of Zoe De Chanel in New Girl. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show or not. I kind of accidentally binge watched every season. But, um, I mean, I didn't say that. But, yeah, that's what, <laughs> she kind of reminds me of her in this video. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to shut up. Okay, I'm assuming that's the chorus. That is so epic. I mean, it's not just epic. It's it's like cinematic. I mean, not just in the in the visual aspect of it, which it is, but it's like there's so much depth and like layers to the music going on. 
is very well done it's like just as cinematic to listen to as it is to take in visually this is a this is a very well shot very well produced video Okay, so that is really, really cool. The fact that you've got this shift and you hear an obvious riff going on and it's a, you know, a good riff and they're bringing that to the forefront to kind of remind you like, hey, don't just focus on her. You know, yes, she's screaming and we've got these cool lights and there's trees and shit and it's epic, but hey, this is also going on and it's also pretty epic so don't let the guitar just kind of fade into the background and not pay attention to it here it is take it in which i think is awesome because i'm a guitarist God, that is so epic. That was an interesting shot. It was like the camera went up and like then came back down like what? I don't even understand that shot, but it was, it was, it was very unique, and very, very cool. That, what was that? Got another really great ending to a video. So I I forgot yeah, how good that song and video actually are. You know, I the first time I saw it, like I said, it was like several months ago when it first came out. You know, it's just because like, oh hey, it's that chick from I wrestled a bear once. She's in a different band. Let's see what this is all about. You know, and, and I was I was more focused on listening to it than actually watching the video. So most of it just kind of I was just I was more focused on the song and I re I remembered that it was good but I didn't remember how good it was. I mean, I'm sure some of you may not agree, some of you may totally agree. And that's okay either way. Um if you if you're not familiar with them and you'd like to check out. So I'm going to I'm going to link something like maybe that video or you know, maybe their YouTube or something in the description below. So if you are interested in them and want to see more, you can go there and do so. Um, yeah, I just I thought this was like a, this would be an interesting sort of comparison, not like a not like a versus, not like oh one against the other, but just sort of you know you've got two female fronted metal bands that b both bands don't really fall into any particular genre of metal. And, you know, both songs are called Perennial. And they kind of, it feels like they serve two completely different, it, it, I feel like they're both telling two completely different stories uh, around, you know, the meaning of the word. So that was, uh, that was, that was a lot of fun to, to get into those. And 
uh, thank you again, everybody who has been supportive and leaving comments and likes and all the people who have taken the time to subscribe. I really genuinely appreciate it. Sincerely. Thank you all so much for everything. And uh, I look forward to talking to you in the comments as always. Thank <laughs> you.